Oh, and by the way, Taylor's just your emergency quarterback in the third string if they need to get that far. Hands off, a big run, a big hole, a big take for the freshman. Stevie Scott for his first career score. The right side of the line just clear out. Hunter Litter Littlejohn takes on Malcolm Cook, and nobody even touches Stevie Scott. 25% of the roster from elsewhere and 50% of the roster was from Ohio. <laughs> Here's Stevie Scott. He's from Syracuse, New York. What a run. And Scott gets to the Michigan 40. Stevie Scott was the ball carrier. Stevie Scott, their leading rusher into the backfield now. He gets his first carry into Ohio State territory and down the sideline. Finally wrestled out of bounds near the 10. First good run of the day. Peter Ramsey does not have a game-winning drive. He hands off to Scott. That got this crowd alive. Hands off to the freshman, Scott. It's a big gainer. Scott across the 50, across the 40. And how about that to start the second half? Yeah, right here. They're going to play off 17. Malcolm Cook unable to see which man he had, and all of a sudden, Stevie Scott is a quarterback's best friend. Stevie Scott in the backfield has an opening. Out to the 46-yard line. And 103 today against Ball State. That is very, very impressive. And look at him right there, delivering another dose of punishment, powering his way into the end zone. You saw it last week against UVA. You watch his success in the rain. You see it now on a sunny day. He's only a freshman, folks. Use a little more tempo. Neither team's going to huddle here tonight, but Indiana's going to use a little more tempo than Minnesota. A bit of a hurdle from Stevie Scott, who picks up the first down. He hasn't had much of a workload so far tonight. Freshmen don't come in built like that. He's able to handle the load they want him to take. He gets it again. Scott, wide open hole. Two-string tackle won't work on Stevie Scott. Inside the 15, he leads all true freshmen of the nation in carries. So I'm not necessarily a fan of it, but they watch a lot more film than I do. Stevie Scott right up the gut. And Scott, the freshman. Pre-game today. Stevie Scott back in there. That's a good thing for Hoosier fans. Hinder shot as well. 14th play of this drive. This is a fourth and short. Kept and into the end zone. Watching is Stevie Scott. We talked about him being big, strong, but how about the elusiveness inside the red zone? He gets in for his 10th touchdown, ties the game. Officially there. This is the value of having a 236 pound running back right there. Stevie Scott, the freshman, for his first score of the afternoon. And it's 14 all. Michael Penix remains in there. Stevie Scott, the ball carry, and he rumbles out to the 45. Cam Brown eventually brought him down. To the slot here, but it's to Stevie Scott. And Stevie Scott powers his way in. Ramsey's pass to 21, Stevie Scott. It's Stevie Scott again. They do. Scott has been the featured back for Indiana, still on his feet. He's picked himself up a first down. Bobby, the last time in a short yardage situation like this, we saw them throw the ball. Do they give it to Stevie Scott? I'm giving it right there. And they do. And Scott into the end zone for a touchdown. Six points for Indiana, and the Hoosiers lead it 9-3. to three. This time they'll go on the ground. Stevie Scott staying upright. Only 12 rushing yards last week against Michigan State. And on that run alone, he gets in from 16 yards out. Not a family name, people. <laughs> Don't be offended. On the ground. Here's Stevie Scott crashing the goal line and scoring. First and 10 at the Michigan 13 for Indiana. Scott. And touchdown Hoosiers. 13-yard touchdown for Stevie Scott. First down, they got it now on the sticks. First and goal. On the ground, Stevie Scott reaches forward for the touchdown. 
And Indiana, a point away, an extra point away from taking the lead. Care of business in winning the games they're supposed to win. And now Indiana's going to use plenty of play clock as they take time off the clock, and that is Stevie Scott. He's down to the 10-yard line.